Hey everybody, I'm Modi Apparatus and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Legacy 2 and the Arcane Hallows update. We are back and we have to choose a hero. I think we have to go with, even though, even though we don't really like all of the traits here, D.Va is tough, Aerodynamic's cool, um, and Prismatic Spectrum, I don't know what that is. So I want to try this out. 60% more gold, sure, shorter run, probably. Let's do it. But it's content, right? We gotta, we gotta try the new characters out. So we'll do it again. Uh, we did okay last time. We did a little bit longer run and uh, we got a few things uh, going here. So let's get ourselves a little more armor and that'll probably be it right now. So D.Va is gonna be a little tough because we really can't plan too far in advance of where we're headed here. What is the, what is the spell I have do? Uh, completely array of ailments, supplies freeze, burn, and spore burst. Okay, cool. So let's go into here. Whoa, kid, looks like you got some advanced blueprints. These are special, more special than special because with this, I can improve existing equipment, make them better than I could ever imagine, literally. Want to know what another secret, kid? I heard if you keep wearing items from the same set, you can unlock unity bonuses. That'll blow your mind. What's even crazier is if you keep upgrading your gear, your guild's unity bonuses get, will get better and better. So we wait for kid. Let's get spending. Okay. So we have... Some new things here. So what do we want to do here? We have this one is plus one. So this is actually a little bit better than the sanguine weapon. Um, do we want to go back to the having the 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 regen? The lifesteal? I think we might want to do that. But who knows? You know, if we go with this, we get more vitality too, and then we go maybe we just go like with that, we go uh the leather chest here is not as good. So this one's better. But we won't get the unity bonus here now. We'll have to get some unity bonus somehow. The Ammonite armor looks like it finally got a uh, model update. Before it was not updated, I'm pretty sure. I think we're going to go with the Warden set, actually. We have Warden level bonus dexterity. Yeah, I think that's what we want. I think that's what we want. Critical attack chance for this character? Sure. With so many attack chances, I think I think it's a good idea. Uh, then we'll go back in here and see what we got going on in here. So we have, what do we have on right now? I wish we could see easily what we have already equipped. Um, like if it was set it on the right-hand side, that'd be kind of nice. Life steal's on. So we ate, HP gain is 50%. That's actually pretty good. And we have uh, 30 remain, or no, 20, only 12 remaining. So I don't think we're gonna get much more in. Um, nothing's gonna be less than 10. Oh, this one's only 10. All right, there we go. Let's just do that. Oh, that's cool. That applies all kinds of effects. I like it. All right, let's get in there. Let's uh, do our thing. And this time around, we're gonna try for a good run. We're gonna try to go in and we'll go through the beginning level and see if we can get some, some relics because the relics did help us last time, I think. The problem is this character's uh, negative trait here is pretty bad. We have a downward kick now. It's a downward strike. Luckily, enemies are lit up. That might actually be help me see things better a little bit. In some way, in some ways. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Oh boy. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to see traps. And projectiles like that. What? Oh, I got I got a, the diva ability, so I get a, a little uh, a little cheer here. Oh, come on! Come on! Yeah, it's gonna be very tough to see. I mean, I see why we get extra gold for this character, because this is this is actually pretty detrimental. That's all right. We'll try our best. Oh, come on. Uh. Let's wait for this to go. We do get two HP every time we kill something though. So that's something good. That lifesteal is actually pretty valuable. 
All right, we so we went through this last time. There was no rune at the top of this tower. Let's just gather this to get the food done. I mean, it's money, but I'm not going to be interested in money. We're going to get the runes. That's where it's at. Really? I wonder if this will identify the Doom bosses for me. Because that would be nice. With the light up uh, thing. All right, we're doing okay. I don't know what the D.Va thing does besides just giving us the spotlight here. It seems to get cheers every once in a while. Does it tell us? Uh, spotlight's on you. Yeah, we just, we just get we just get applauded every once in a while. I don't know what causes the applause. Maybe we should be kill a lot of guys without getting hit. Maybe there's no connection. It just gives it to us sometimes. Oh, it happens when we clear a room. That's what happens. We get applauded every time we should clear a room. I see now. Oh. Oh, come on. Almost did things right there. All right, let's head this way. Oh, oh, this is a portal again. We saw this before. Okay. I think I'm in a good spot right now. Let's do it. So this is an opportunity for something good to happen. Or just death to happen. We did it. Oh, there's more. I wish I could have got those with this. Nice. We're out. Oh, there's more still though. I thought that was pretty safe to do this over here. Come on. Oh my God. We're through that one. Oh, ooh, I'm not happy with that one. Nice. Oh, we're going to die. All the projectiles coming through. I'm not going to be able to see nothing. Oh, my God. I mean, all this work. What is, what, when does this end? I guess it ends now. That was so worth it. All that, all that, that, that stuff that was, uh, that ingots. All right, we're getting it back. We can actually hold it away. Those guys are not that bad. Almost out of here too. All right, good timing on that. Oh, that's so good timing on that. Come on. Let's get this for too much happens. 
come on! All right, take it. Need a little bit more health than that, though. We're almost out of here. This will be a this relic. Okay, good. No longer gain gold, more XP, and then uh, I want this one. Okay, cool. I should have probably re-rolled that into something we haven't gotten before, but. Every fifth hit is a X is a bonus hit. So like with this character, that's actually really good. That works out nicely because he does so many hits. Well, now I'm in a very dangerous area. Oh, that was good. Mimics. Probably a little second mimic there too. Alright, both two both those mimics are activated. Oh, they dropped poison coins though. That's not fun. I'm almost dead again. Yep, it did identify the Doom Voss there. Um I'd rather deal with him like this first. There we go, like that. I'm just gonna ignore the new boss. That's another, that's another mimic. Don't get hit. What is this all about? Oh, I don't. I'm not sure what that is. So I'm gonna say, don't get hit. I didn't get hit. That's good. Of course, his attacks are very light, so even though getting the crit is not that good. I wish flame projectiles still provided light. Like the Diva trait. I guess I guess the, the, the light we're seeing isn't actually because of uh, any physical spotlight happening for the character. It's just an emotional spotlight happening around the character that he ignores anything that's out his periphery. Anything that's outside his scene, he just ignores. Oh, come on. Wow, okay. Um. Oh, come on, missed it. I can't see much out of here. Missed it again. I'm gonna die from just trying to get treasure. Died the way I lived. I actually got 3,000 bucks here, though. That's not a bad run. Nothing to be ashamed of there. I just wish that we could, um... See what this guy's doing. Almost died. And a little bit of, uh... A little bit of treasure there. Okay. Let's go back a floor. Looks like to the left here there's something okay oh come on oh he got me damn it had a pretty decent run there though assassin rank 2 is good I love this end thing pretty solid all right well, I think with the better, I think without the diva, we would have done so much better there. Ectomorph, you are sticks, not stones. Enemy knock you far away. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, we're light. We're a tiny little, tiny little uh, gunslinger. Let's do it. Less health, average mana. For the uh, class. So, let's see what we want. Um, so, the negative effects reduced might be good. Uh, let's work our way up this way, though. Well, that should be unlocked already, though. Why isn't this unlocked yet? 
Let's want to unlock new pieces of the um, tower here. Can't afford it. What about this? What's this one? The laundromat. The front of the Guild of Dark Arts. Discover the secrets of assassins. Getting your stains out of your whites. Increases your damage from weapon crits. Nice. Alright, cool. I like a lot of this stuff. Got hardly any money left. So we have fl flame and we have... Uh, should we stick with what we have? Let's not worry about what, we, what we're changing up. Let's just, let's just stick with the warden stuff. I'm sure, again, we can figure out how to min-max each character, but... We'll stick with what we have. There's like a best set you can go with as far as like a character damage, I think. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Try to go through here to get some relics. And I'm gonna use the spin kick there when as needed. This is to the next area here. So this is the fish on a dry lake. Well, that'll be another area altogether. That'll be in a future update. Don't get hit. Time limit 10 seconds. So I hit this one, I'm ready to go. Got it. Damn. Resolve rune. Self-confidence manifest. Game bonus resolve. Cool. That wasn't that bad. So I guess I guess that you hit go on these things. And that's when it's activated and you can't like leave the room. That's why we failed that one earlier. Is because I hit the thing to activate it, but then left the room. So we, we didn't take any damage, but um That's why it, it, it deactivated. So that means when I saw that one that was like, oh boy. When I saw that one that was like, don't jump. We could have solved that one probably because we could have jumped. We just can't jump after we hit the thing. That actually is a better way of doing the, the things, I think. I don't like that there's limited range to this character. It's not that limited though. We get a pretty decent distance to hit. All right. So we have 25 resolve. Buy this to see what it does. And over here, same deal. So we don't know what you do want is heavy stone bargain. So bargain's not good. Let's go in Brojo. After taking damage, you are invincible for an extra 1.25 seconds. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Again, not what I would have taken in the previous version before the resolve thing was added. Because I don't want to give up that max health, but in this case, what is that all about? I like the fireball. Can get that money with the magnets. I like trusting that we're going to have enough uh, ammo to finish a guy off. Just keep firing. Don't look back. Ooh, okay. Aha! I didn't even think I could do that. I gotta reload more often when I'm in an area that is good for reloading. Lots of lots of fireball shooting around here. 
But how do you think they feel when they see me coming? They're like, oh, this guy again. Like shooting in midair and stuff. It's not even fair. Oh. Well, again, trust, trust that we're going to kill the thing. this character so far i think i think of the two this one's my favorite it's because it's the most unique and the look of this character is pretty good too i think that's where my my, my uh loyalty, loyalties lie here oh come on because i mean the the, the the even the, the assassin though i mean both both their looks are very unique compared to the other characters. Like this guy's got a cape on, this guy's got a hat on and glasses. Like there's a lot going on with this character design. The ninja too, the ninja has a mask. It's got like a, a cool look to it. These guys actually come pretty easily, easy because we can, we can stand uh, in midair out of their range. Whoop. Like ang angles on this guy are, are uh, very, very helpful. Yeah, this is good. All right, back to the Stygian. All right, now we can do it for real. I have a good feeling about this one. We're going to get far. We're in a good spot. We're with a good character. Solid, solid loadout so far. Unload an entire clip. That's pretty solid. I'm liking this character. It's a, it plays slow. Oh shoot that! And we don't have a lot of health. Uh. Oh, Doomvas. Maybe not. Uh, see, they they really really fool you. Like the way the background works in this area. It's very easy to. It's very easy to. Oh God. It's very easy to mistake the background for an enemy, and vice versa. Done pretty good there. We still have our. Uh, We still have our vampirism on. Pretty good. There's a second one up there someplace. Got him off 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 screen. Oh come on! Alright. So that got one got me off screen. So I guess it's fair. Crown here. Oh, well, nothing came of that. Oh, what are these guys doing? There's a chest up there. I want to get out of there. Get the angle just right on this guy.
Oh, more health. Yes. Extend the run. Oh, there's a chest down there too, though. Oh my god. Well, we got greedy. That's what happens. I should have just kept exploring and not worried about the chest. So one of these times I'll do that. Maybe next episode we'll just focus on exploring, not worry about getting things in the Stygian area. Because I want to find the relic, right? The heirloom is where it's at, right? So that could help us a lot. But next time, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'll see you guys back for another one. Bye.